Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a very exciting video that I've been wanting to do forever. I am going to be showing you some of my Taylor Swift merch collection that I think is rare. Listen, rare is to each their own, you know? I feel like now that Taylor's really big and she's been around for a very, very long time, a lot of her merch that has been made 2012 prior is all basically considered rare because it's really hard to find. So what I tried to do is go through my merch collection and find pieces that I think are really exciting to share. Pretty rare in like their rarity now in 2024. And things that are from really early Taylor Swift eras that you might not have seen before. So I am so excited to share some of the pieces that I picked out for this video. If you are new, hi, my name is Alexis. I am a huge Taylor Swift fan obviously. <laughs> and I also make other Swifty content over on Instagram and TikTok, so if you want to follow those, those will be on the screen and down below. But without further ado, let's jump into some of my rare Taylor Swift merch. I am so excited. Also, I just rearranged part of my Taylor room. If you are unaware, you are sitting in my Taylor room right now. This is like an extra guest room that we have that I have like my makeup vanity in and I store all of my Taylor merch. And I made this really cute cute like hat wall of like all of my Taylor dad caps <laughs> and I wanted to film right here it kind of is a little wonky with like the lighting coming from the left side but I hope it's still okay anyway let's jump into the merch all right this is the only apparel piece that I chose for the video today this is a fearless t-shirt this was one of my very first t-shirts that I bought off of her website I believe in either 2010 or 2011 on the front it says Swift and then on on the back, it says Taylor Swift Fearless with a couple of guitars. I used to also have the hoodie version of this. Fun fact, I wore the hoodie version of this exact design when I first met Taylor in 2014. I wore that hoodie the morning that we were camping out outside of Good Morning America. And I don't know where it's at. I have no idea. I don't know if it's at my parents' house or maybe in a garage somewhere. I have no idea, but I do have this shirt to show you. I think it's very cool and very vintage. All right, let's see, what is next? I have everything laid out beside me and it's a lot. Why don't we continue on the Fearless trend, okay? Next thing I have is the Fearless pre-sale box. Now this was sold when Fearless Platinum Edition came out or when Fearless Regular Edition came out. I can't remember, but I purchased this, I believe in like 2012, 2013, off of Big Machine Records website. <laughs> And inside it came with some goodies, but the box looks like this. It is absolutely beautiful. It's all black, has this little clasp. You open it and it is the Fearless album cover. Okay, so inside, inside it came with a little business card. It has a little photo of Taylor on the front. It came with a taylornation.com sticker, an LEI jeans ad, a little poster. I believe that this is all like fan art. So so they put together a bunch of like fan photos and made it into the love story artwork. I don't know if you can see that with the glare, but it's a cute little poster. It came with a little thank you note thanking the fans for buying the pre-sale box. It came with another poster that is the Breathe cover shoot. And then it came with this little photo album that says Fearless Photos and you can put a bunch of different photos inside. It also came with a Fearless t-shirt, which I have no idea where that is and it also came with a fearless cd which is on my cd stand so i don't know how rare this is it is pretty old and i haven't seen it on any resale sites but i also don't look on resale sites that often so it could be up there on ebay poshmark something like that but it is pretty old so i would consider this rare all right moving on to another thing that's very old the leather bracelets if you don't know taylor came out with these leather bracelets and sold a bunch of them on her website website back in like the debut all the way to like the speak now era and I have a bunch of them so the first one is the love 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 brown bracelet I have a black speak now bracelet 
a black fearless bracelet, another black fearless bracelet, and then a purple speak now bracelet. Let me know down below if you are one of the people who would stay up and watch Taylor's tutorial on how to tie these and never actually figured out how to because that's me. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move on into the speak now era merch. I think I'm doing this like by merch order because all of these are pretty organized. So let's move on to some Speak Now merch. First item that I wanted to show you is the Speak Now Release Week book. This was released on Taylor's website. I bought it around probably like 2012 and it details like her entire Speak Now Release Week festivities. It has when she was on the late show. It has her buying her CD. This is literally so cute and I am obsessed with this little piece. The lighting is really getting on my nerves. I am so sorry if it looks like it's changing because it is. We're, we're moving through the day. All right, next thing that I have to show you is the Speak Now Guitar Pick Tin. This was sold on her website during the Speak Now era. That's when I purchased it. On the back of the tin, it actually says taylorswift.com and taylorconnect.com. <laughs> If you had Taylor Connect, tell me down below what your username was because that would be funny. <laughs> anyway, this tin actually came with six special Speak Now guitar picks that were specific to this tin. So I have those in here. I also have some other rare guitar picks. I have a set of debut guitar picks that was one of my first pieces of merch I ever got. I got it Christmas of 2009 I think and they're like holographic they're super super cool so those are in here and then I also have a guitar pick that Taylor threw into the crowd during the 1989 tour that I actually got when we were leaving the show I saw it on the ground and I like quickly snatched it up and it's like one of my prized possessions so those guitar picks are all in this little cute guitar pick tin that she sold during the Speak Now era. Ending out the Speak Now era merch we have this baby. I love this so much you have no idea so if you're wondering what the heck this is Taylor had a collab with Papyrus, which is like a stationary brand. This was around the time that she had her collab with American Greeting Cards as well. And she made these beautiful notebooks during, I think the Speak Now era. They were on her website for quite a bit. So I bought this from her website and it is the most beautiful notebook, like hardcover notebook literally umg could never and it was just the most beautiful like they had so many different covers of like these notebooks there was like a birdcage one that i always wanted as a kid and i ended up getting the butterfly one and it is so beautiful i'm not gonna open up the pages because i will say this baby was used okay i used to write songs in middle school because i wanted to be just like taylor swift okay i have left that dream in the past don't you worry and a lot of my middle school crush anthems are in this bad boy so I will not be um opening the pages but let me just tell you there's there's a lot of 12 year old thoughts in here okay and it also came in this like little box how stinking cute how much was this does this have a price guess how much it was this would literally go for probably like $50 on her website or even more this was sold for $19.95 Literally UMG, could never, could never. Someone fire UMG at this point, honestly. <laughs> All right, moving on, we have some merch from the Red Era. The first thing I wanna show you is something very special to me. This was my very first autographed piece of merch ever. I was 12 years old, I got this for Christmas of 2012. Look at her. This is the signed red presale frame. I believe, <laughs> or some other long name that I don't remember. This was actually part of the red presale packages. So if I remember correctly, during the red era when red was coming out, there were three different packages that you could buy on her website. And the biggest package included this signed frame. So my family all pitched in to buy this for me. And I remember sobbing my eyes out because I was just so, so happy. I wanted it so bad and here, 
she is still all intact in all of her glory. I love this piece of merch so, so much. And it's just so special to me that little 12 year old Alexis like loved this day so, so much. And she was so happy. It just makes my heart really happy. So we have this piece of merch. All right, next things I have to show you are part of the jewelry line that Taylor came out with for her website during the red OG era. I have a few pieces here. I do believe I have one or two more, but these were the ones that I could show you that have the packaging, but they were so cute. She came out with like an array of like different bracelets, necklaces, hair pins, and they were so adorable. And the packaging is so cute. This is the kind of merch that I crave for these new albums that she is coming out with, but we know UMG would never ever do things like this like this look how cute so this first one is just a necklace that says one and three making 13 and then these little berets are like little daisies they're so cute these are some of my favorites again i don't know how rare they are they are just pretty old and probably hard to find but they're super super cute all right next thing we have is the red zine pack this was sold exclusively at walmart during release week of red this is just the regular red CD but it's kind of almost like the lover booklet where it has like the regular CD booklet in the front and then in the back it has a lot of Taylor's Instagram photos tweets different photos that she took during the red era and then it also comes with the CD and some little notes I do believe that this came with like a cute little postcard too and guitar picks in with it but the guitar picks are in my guitar pick tin and I don't know where the postcard is i'm gonna have to find that anyway this is the red sign pack it's super super cool i'm not really sure where you would find this now probably somewhere on a resale site but it was super super cool for her to exclusively do this for walmart at the time all right last thing for the red era is this one this is the red coffee tail this is the red coffee table book. It is gigantic. Like it is literally the size of like my arm. This is so big. This was sold on her website back in the red era. I believe I got this for Christmas or my grandparents got this for me. I have no idea where I got this, but it is super, super beautiful. Inside there are like these huge pictures. The entire red album photo shoot is inside and it is beautiful. Like. Are you joking? It is so beautiful, so beautiful, but it's absolutely gigantic. I don't know where you would put this. I guess you could put it on a coffee table, but it would literally take up the entire coffee table. <laughs> Why don't we move on to 1989, shall we? I only have one piece of merch that I picked out to show you guys from the 1989 era. It is probably my prized possession, and it is, <gasps> ta-da! This is the pre-sale signed nine lithograph frame. That is a mouthful. Just like the red signed frame that I showed you earlier, this is the same deal. She came out with different pre-sale packages for 1989 on her website. The biggest pre-sale package included this signed lithographed framed and I ended up getting the biggest pre-sale package for 1989 which came with this. I love this so so much. It is absolutely beautiful. I had this hanging up in my room all through high school, all through college, and I am so obsessed with this lithograph. Just the lithograph in general, like these little Polaroids are so my style, what I enjoy looking at, and to have it signed is absolutely beautiful. So I love this one. This is also, I know, rare. I don't know how many copies she ended up signing, but I know that these go for like thousands of dollars on eBay or Poshmark or anything like that, which is crazy. Absolutely nuts. Also, I should preface that I am showing you these because they are my prized possessions. Hence, I would never give them away. I would never sell them. Just a little disclaimer if you were wondering. Next, of course, we have the Reputation Polaroid camera. Listen, this was the collab of a lifetime for me, okay? I was so excited when she collabed with Instax. So this is the Reputation Instax Polaroid camera that Taylor collabed for during the Reputation era. She was in all of like the promo pictures. She designed her own camera. It is absolutely beautiful. The 
back is my favorite because it has her little autograph right there printed of course this is not a real autograph but it is absolutely stunning and it prints out mini square photos which I love and then with the camera of course I had Taylor's unique film for it. This film was sold um, separately from the camera, but you obviously could buy it from the Instax website. I don't remember if this was on her own website, but I got it for Christmas that year it was um, released. But the frame of this film actually has like a black border and then her signature in gold. It's super, super pretty. And then the camera also came with this little tin that says Taylor, Taylor Swift, and you could store your little Polaroids in it. And it was super, super cute. This is still hands down my favorite piece of merch that she has ever come out with because I think this is brilliant and I am so sad she didn't do this for 1989 but I'll take it for reputation <laughs> all right moving on to our last few items I have some Taylor Swift fragrance items so if you are new Taylor had made a few actually a lot <laughs> of perfumes back in the day she stopped doing it after um, the 1989 era but she was making a lot of perfumes at one point and I have a lot of different perfume items that I think are a little bit rare because of how old they are and one of the items that I collected were the perfume pencils which sounds absolutely crazy but these are the perfume pencils that her team came out with. I have each pencil from each different fragrance. We got Wonderstruck Enchanted, Wonderstruck, Taylor by Taylor, and then this little box that came with one Wonderstruck and one Wonderstruck Enchanted. They're basically like little crayons that smell like the perfume, which is creative I'll give them that but I have a bunch of them that I just never used that often because I had the perfume if I wanted to smell like it I would just spray it <laughs> but they're super cool to have now as like little collectors pieces I think I bought all of these at Walmart back in the day they were like all over Walmart but anyway here are some rare little Taylor Swift fragrance finds <laughs> another very random piece of Taylor Swift fragrance merch that I have are these these are wonderstruck scented tattoos yeah so I remember I think it was Christmas of 2012 my mom found these on Amazon so she ordered them for me it came in a pack of 50 I have since given them out to friends when they sleep over giving them out to family members when I can but basically they are these little cards that they probably don't work anymore but at, at one point you would I guess put them on like a regular temporary tattoo but it would smell like Wonderstruck. So I don't know, very unique idea. I'm not really sure how well they worked. I was a very big, like still am, but I was a very big collector when I got these. So I was like, I can't take them out of the packaging. I wanna keep it in pristine condition, but they're really, really cool to have. And since I am a collector at heart, <laughs> I am very happy that I have these in my collection because they're just super cool. Like Wonderstruck temporary tattoos. All right, go off, I guess. All right, the last piece of merch that I have to show you today is the rarest piece of merch I own and I want to arguably say that this is probably in the realm of one of the rarest pieces of Taylor Swift merch and it is part of the Taylor Swift fragrance family all right and here it is <laughs> this is the Taylor by Taylor made of starlight musical limited edition box this was released in 2014 2013 and it came with Taylor's limited edition fragrance which was Taylor by Taylor made of starlight but this was actually a gift gifted to me from Taylor Swift's official fragrance team. They DM'd me over on Twitter back in, I wanna say 2014, but maybe late, late 2013. And they offered to send me a special surprise fan package. So I was a little 13 year old girl. <laughs> and so when I opened up the box, I saw that it is the Made of Starlight musical box, but signed. This was the little note that it came with. With. It also came with the perfume, obviously, which is still in there. And the note read, Hi, superfan. Enjoy this sneak preview of Taylor Swift's new limited edition fragrance. You are one of 12 at T Swift Fragrance superfans to get this. Don't forget to share your unboxing videos and pictures with us. 
P.S. Look under the box lid for a special surprise. Well, I was surprised. And this is seriously the best merch I own. My favorite piece of merch I own. This is my absolute prize possession. I remember being so, so happy when I got this. This was a few years after I started my fan account over on Twitter, Instagram, and the fact that part, an extension, if you will, of Taylor's team wanted to send me something like this was very, very mind boggling at the time. And so this is still one of my favorite pieces of merch I own and something that I will seriously cherish forever and ever. Also, fun fact, this perfume, this fragrance is my favorite Taylor Swift fragrance that she has ever created. I love the Made of Starlight version of Taylor by Taylor and I will forever rant about how much I love this dang scent because it's my favorite scent in the entire world. But anyway, so this is the last piece of merch that I wanted to show you and it is my absolute favorite. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you had a great time. I know I did. I love merch videos. I love making them. I love watching them. I am just so happy I finally sat down and filmed this for you guys because it was so much fun. If you would like a part two to rare Taylor Swift merch I own, let me know because I could definitely find some other gems in my collection to show you guys. But let me know if you guys want that. Also, if you would like to, please subscribe and follow me on all my other social media accounts which will be on the screen and down below. I post lots of Swifty content and Tortured Poets is coming out very soon so look out for that kind of content. Of course my SD card is full right at the end of this video. Anyway, what was I saying? I hope you guys have the best day ever. I will see you in the next video. If you have any other video requests that you would like me to do, please let me down, please let me know down below. I need to go. I apparently cannot talk anymore. I hope you guys have the best day ever and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!